Please forgive me, but I must share this story with you. It is one of the strangest stories that you find everywhere in Africa in shamanic secret societies and other places where the remnant of our ancient knowledge and wisdom are still preserved. It is that, originally, the earth was covered by a very thick blanket of fog or mist. That people could not actually see the sun in the sky, except as a nimble of light. And they also saw the moon at night as a gentle claw of light in the sky, because there was this heavy mist and the rain was always falling in a steady drizzle. There was no thunder, however. There were no storms. The world was thickly covered with great forests, great jungles, and people lived in peace on earth at that time. People were happy and it is said, at that time, we human beings did not have the power of speech. We only made funny sounds like happy monkeys and baboons, but we did not have speech as we now have it. And in those centuries, people spoke to each other through their mind. A man could call his wife thinking about her, thinking about the shape of her face, the smell of her body, and the feel of hair as a woman. That a hunter would go out into the bush and call out for animals to come, and the animals would select one of their number which was old and tired, and this animal would offer itself to the hunter so that he may kill it quickly and take it as meat to his cave. There was no violence against animals. There was no violence against nature by human beings at that time. Man used to ask for food from nature. He used to come to a tree and think about fruit, and the tree would allow some of its fruit to fall to the ground, and man would take it. And then it is said, however, that when the Chitali came to earth, they arrived in terrible vessels which flew through the air, vessels which were shaped like great bowls and which made a terrible noise and a terrible fire in the sky. And the Chitali told human beings, whom they gathered together by force with whips of lightning, that they were great gods from the sky and that from now on they would receive a number of great gifts from the god. These so-called gods, who were like human beings, but very tall, with a long tail, and with terrible burning eyes, some of them had two eyes yellow, bright eyes some had three eyes, the red, round eye being in the center of their forehead. These creatures then took away the great powers that human beings had. The power of speaking through the mind only. The power of moving objects with their mind only. The power of seeing into the future and into their past. The power to travel, spiritually, to different worlds. All of these great powers the Chitali took away from human beings and they gave human beings a new power, now, the power of speech. But, human beings found, to their horror, that the power of speech divided human beings, instead of uniting them, because the Chitali cunningly created different languages, and they caused a great quarrel between people. Also, the Chitali did something which has never been done before, they gave human beings people to rule over them, and they said. These are your kings, these are your chiefs. They have our blood in them. They are our children and you must listen to these people because they will speak on our behalf. If you don't, we are going to punish you very terribly. Before the coming of the Chitali, before the coming of the Imbalut creatures, human beings were spiritually one. But when the Chitali came, human beings became divided, both spiritually as well as by language. And then, human beings were given strange new feelings by the Chitali. Human beings started to feel unsafe and so they started making villages with very strong fences of wood around them. Human beings started becoming country makers. In other words, they started creating tribes and tribe lands, which had borders, which they defended against any possible enemy. Human beings became ambitious and greedy and they wanted to acquire wealth in the form of cattle, and seashells. They hide in deep cavities underground, because they are always feeling cold. In these cavities, we are told, there are huge fires which are kept going by slaves, human, zombie-like slaves. And, it is further said that these Zuzwanzi, these Imbalu, or whatever you choose to call them, are not capable of eating solid food. They either eat human blood, or they eat that power, the energy that is generated when human beings, on the surface of the earth, are fighting and killing each other in large numbers. Now, there is another thing. Sir, it is that one of the things that the Chitali like to do in their underground caves, where many fires are always kept ablaze, 
we are told, is that when a Chitali gets sick and starts to lose a large area of skin on his body, it is said that there is a disease that the Chitali suffer from which causes them to lose large areas of their skin, leaving only raw flesh.